You are watching a free lesson from UI design in Photoshop course. See the description below to know more about this course or watch till the end of this video. Now let me show you some of the superpowers of these Photoshop plugins. Now this is a sim sample file. This lecture is just for demonstration that these uh, plugins can be used in this way. So I'm going to show you some of the uses of the plugins I have. So I have expanded this uh, panel over here. I have color kit, font awesome, ink, PNG express, quick guide, gridify, guide guide, subtle patterns, Uber faces and device preview. Okay. So let's begin with this color kit. Okay. Now what it does it basically it saves the colors of these elements into groups like that you can see over here. So if I want to change the color of this one like this and uh, I choose some other color you can see it is going to update both the buttons or those ovals at the same time okay you can see over here this is very handy I can update the color scheme of like uh, multiple elements at the same time with very speed and uh, even I can change the whole color scheme of the whole website or web design or a whole document okay so this is the power of this color kit uh, it has this sample project you create a project then in the project you link different uh, layers with this like if I link this layer with this you can see it changes the color of this layer okay so if I change the color to some dark color like that you can see all of these three these two ovals and this has changed okay so this is very handy very powerful uh, but it's a premium plugin you can buy it now then we have font awesome uh, what it does it it can bring all the different uh, icons into this like um, I can say arrow you can see over here there are different types of arrows now it's the arrow and it's a shape you can expand it like that okay so you can expand it you can change its color like this and you can see this is very powerful very easy and it is very good for developers too okay uh, then coming to this ink okay so ink is ink and this markly i i have that markly over here where it is um let's open it okay this markly okay so these two are basically for de developing our design specifications okay so what does that mean is so if i'm going to select this rectangle and I am going to show its measurements you can see in just a moment now it is 97 pixel in height and 802 pixels in width now my developers they need to know how they are going to produce this element design element in HTML okay so in web design web development they need exact sizes so this is what it is going to give them then uh, let me show you how it is going to give the details of this one so I'm going to click this icon over here button you can see it shows name superpower opacity one and the name of the font museo sans 300 okay style is 300 so this is all the details of css values like rgba colors and a lot of things that developers need from designers okay so right now i'm going to delete this folder over here then let me show you the power of the other plugin which is basically this uh, markly and it is a premium plugin so i'm going to import the document in it okay now the document has been imported in this markly plugin and you can see over here if i just click over here you can see it has sh it is showing me the sizes and this one okay let's delete this okay so i'm going to delete all the things over here Let's delete the information around all these layers quickly. Okay, now why this one is premium and the other one is not? Because you can just double click on any of this and you can display all the things over here. Just clicking like that. It is very swift and very easy. You can see over here, I can just keep on clicking and I can show the uh, everything over here like its position x y position and a lot of other information so it is very easy very quick even if you double click this you can see over here it is showing all the uh, font information just by double clicking on any element okay so this is really cool really fast way of uh, generating developer specs okay 
Okay, next coming to this PNG Express, it basically adds different tags to these uh, uh, buttons and these different elements or groups and we need them to export into PNG assets, okay? Now, right now, Photoshop have uh, a very good export as overlay and it has a very good tool. It can export into multiple formats of different sizes. So, we don't need this PNG Express much, okay? Then this one, okay, quick guide and gridify. Now what quick guide is going to do is that it is going to quickly generate guides around this layer, okay. So you can see over here, these are all the guides that has been generated around this square in just one click, okay. So if I want something like this, maybe in the middle and like that, so I can just click these two and generate the guides in the middle of this. So if I want to place something in the middle, I know that this is the middle of this circle, okay? So it can also lock this layer quickly and hide this layer, hide the guides, okay? Lock the guides, hide the guides and show the guides over here. Okay, now we, we are going to use Gridify. Gridify is basically to use a different, uh, we can divide the whole document into different sections using guides and grids. So it is very good in uh, basically uh, designing a grid around our design. So I'm going to select this. I, I have made the selection and I'm going to divide it into four sections uh, horizontal, uh, vertically like that. And also in the horizontally, horizontally and vertically. So I divided this one like that. Okay. So if I uh, put spacing zero and wrap it, you can see over here it is giving me uh, around this okay so it is wrapping this with uh, different guides like that okay so I have you can see over here I have prepared a whole grid system over here this is really cool and uh, then we have this guide guide now what this guide guide is going to do is it can generate any grid system in just few seconds I'm going to generate eight columns grid system over here and uh, it is going to generate it in just seconds like that you can see over here, these are the paddings. You are going to learn more about using this grid in the later exercises and lessons. So don't worry about it. I'm just showing you the use of these plugins and how they can help and speed up our workflow. Okay. Now I'm going to clear the guides over here. Now there is one more. This is called subtle patterns. And I showed you how this can bring a lot of great patterns in Photoshop with just one click. So I'm going to attach some uh, subtle pattern with this background. So let's get started with this subtle patterns. Uh, okay, so I have paper, stripes, wall, different things over here. I'm going to check this one and you can see it applied this as a pattern overlay over here. So I can get a paper effect over here with this background. Uh, I'm going to delete it right now. So this is a, another way then we have this Uber faces, okay? This is really cool. I'm going to show you just it's how it is going to amaze you. One, two, three, go. Okay, you can see it generated four avatars in these four eclipses in just one click, okay? So it's saved like uh, next 30 or 40 seconds or maybe two minutes of your work. Okay, so let's go back. And this is how we use this plugin. You can generate women, men, and uh, you can just click this and it is going to mask in all these uh, shapes. And then this device preview, I cannot show it right now, but it is basically to connect and mirror your Photoshop design area on your iPhone app. Okay. So how you are going to do is that you are going to use this remote connections over here. You can see over here in this preferences this service name and this password and this IP address. This is, these are the three things you can, you are going to use. I have showed how to connect this in my second course typography for UI designers, which is a bit advanced. So in this lesson, I think I'm not going to show you, but you can easily get it. If you want to take my other course, you are more than welcome. Okay. So this is, these are all the superpowers of these UI design Photoshop extensions. I think you really like this lesson, so let's move on to the next lesson. You have just watched one lesson from my Udemy course and uh, let me show you what I am going to teach you in that course. It has more than 100 lectures and 9 hours of video on UI design. If you really want to be a UI designer, you should be considering to take this course.
Here are a few examples. We are going to cover Photoshop settings and preferences for UI design. Then we are going to cover all the basics like shadowing uh, light and uh, how to design different uh, uh, drop shadows like soft shadows, inner shadows and layer effects. Then we are going to create a lot of awesome exercises you are going to see right now. Header designs, mobile apps, dashboard design. So all these exercises we are going to cover in this course. So don't waste time, grab this course. You are not going to find tutorials on each topic I have covered in this course. For all my YouTube viewers, it is just $10. So grab it while it is only just $10. So let's see you in that course.